In the best of all possible worlds, we wouldn't exist, but we are needed. For 20 years, ECPAT has been fighting against the commercial sexual exploitation of children. Come along on the journey that has brought us to where we are today. In 1996, the first World Congress against commercial sexual exploitation of children is held in Stockholm. 122 governments take part, and for the first time ever, the world unites around a joint declaration and action plan against the commercial sexual exploitation of children. ECPAT Sweden is formed in connection with the World Congress. In 1998, ECPAT Sweden draws up a code of conduct for travel companies. The purpose is to stop perpetrators who travel in order to exploit children sexually. One year later, 95% of Swedish travel agencies have adopted the code, soon to be followed by travel companies all over Europe. Following an intense debate which we helped to drive, the Swedish Riksdag implements a constitutional amendment that criminalizes the possession of so-called child pornography. This makes it illegal to possess images and films depicting the sexual abuse of children. Then came the internet, quickly becoming a part of people's everyday lives during the 1990s. But this technical development has its negative side. It becomes easier to produce, find, and distribute images and films in which children are subjected to sexual abuse. The ground rules for our work are fundamentally changed. As a response to technical developments, in 2005 we take the initiative for a blocking partnership between the Swedish police and 13 of the leading internet service providers. This results in tens of thousands of attempts to browse child sexual abuse websites being stopped every day. In the same year, we start our web-based hotline, which results in receiving thousands of reports every year about the sexual exploitation of children. All relevant reports are passed on to police. A few years later, ECPAT becomes a member of the In Hope Network and starts an international collaboration around hotlines to help the police identify more children and perpetrators. Together with the Scandia Bank and the Swedish police, we take the initiative for a banking and finance partnership that now blocks virtually all payments for child sexual abuse material on the internet. Within a few years, there are 20 banks in the Financial Coalition Against Commercial Sexual Exploitation of Children. Our final look back is to 2014, when we have the Piece of Trash Penalty Campaign. It features ECPAT ambassadors highlighting the absurdity of the fact that the punishment for certain sexual abuses against children is nothing more than fines, on the same level as discarding chewing gum on the pavement. The campaign results in the Minister for Justice stating a desire to see tougher punishments. In 2016, a report proposes that fines are removed as a punishment for certain sexual crimes against children. After 20 years, the fight for a world free of the commercial sexual exploitation of children is not over. We will continue for as long as it takes, and we need your help. You can help us change the life of a child. Support our work at ekpat.se